843, when it comes to style, the one and only Susie Wall of Chatelaine Magazine is the place to go to know. Welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Nice to be here. We, Chatelaine Magazine, of course, on newsstands right yeah. now. you got to pick up your copy and get all about it. And you also got to get all about the Grammys that are coming up on Sunday. You're heading down uh, tomorrow? Yeah, I go tomorrow. And I'll be covering all things style. I'll be providing style counsel and commentary. Uh, so excited. From the red carpet. It's pretty fun. And we're going to see a lot of trends, right? A lot of rock and roll, a lot of edge. A lot of pop tart jumped out of the cake. Woohoo, Katy Perry style. So last year and in years previous, we've seen stars really bring it to the carpet. As we know, this is music's biggest night, right? And you want the crazy. You want the you want sexy. The Bjork. You want all that stuff. Um, so uh, Taylor Swift, all eyes will be on her per usual. Right. She has really stepped into this role of the young den mother. Do you not agree? There she is two years ago in Jay Mendel, going for a very Hunger Games influence. I thought she looked really beautiful here, kind of a column gown, very goddess-like. She has that figure that she can wear anything to. Very runway, right? right? Here's last year, Gucci premiere, mesh mm -hmm. overlay. This dress didn't do her justice in photographs. You can see how stunning it is here and statuesque. This is really an example of her stepping up into the role of, I'm a businesswoman. I'm right. running this Taylor Swift empire and I have grown up in front of you. But often there's a disconnect between what we see in print, and you know this when you're interviewing stars. What you see on them and then what you see afterwards in a photograph is not always done justice. Correct. So they got to hit it 200% to make it 100% in some of those photos because she, I mean, all the oxygen was sucked off the red carpet when she walked onto it last year. Because sparkle. Yeah. You lose the sparkle when it's still. You do. It's just kind of, yeah. yeah, she looks pretty, yeah. right? Um, and then who do we have next? I think Jennifer uh, Lopez, is that who we're looking at? There was a yes, really... Yes, Jennifer Lopez is next. J-Lo. So she's been really nailing it. This is from two years ago. Um, this is Vaccarello. I mean, yes, it's sexy. There's the thigh-high slit, the Angelina pose, um, the bun, the top knot, uh, very J-Lo, right? A bit Jenny from the block goes glamour. Mm -hmm. um, I actually like how she's been looking lately. Um, I like, this is a bit severe for me. Yes, she's beautiful. But if you look back at things like her Golden Globes dress from a few weeks ago, that night she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Um, the, the I was just afraid the that leg, the cleavage was going to like pop It was a moment. little, it was poppy. And I think that dress from the Globes would have been more appropriate for the Grammys, but we know that she is going to absolutely bring it. She's at the top of her game. She's single. She's on the cover of People. She's got Idol going on. I love on. that she's like 43 years old yeah. and rocking that and style. And I love that she's not leaning on anybody on no. the carpet. She's no. on her own. She's a single mother and she's doing it. I think she's at her absolute most beautiful. When a lot of people would have said, oh, she's teetering down, you know, teetering down the other side of the mountain, I think she's at her absolute peak. So we'll see something very gourmet, very sexy. Nice. Let's talk Katy Perry coming off the big Super Bowl half time show. You know, that's what we want from Katie, right? We want right. Super Bowl halftime. We Bubble want gun. like, ah, I just fell out of a Disney movie. Yes. I'm frothy, I'm frilly, I'm a cupcake. Yeah. She's cute. She actually doesn't care what we think of her. She cares what her 15-year-old girl that's buying her albums thinks of her. There she is last year in Valentino. The notes, very ironic. We get it. Cute and crazy and sexy all at once. She's just a walking fairy tale and let her do it. Like if she showed up this year in, you know, a black pantsuit, we'd criticize her. You know, we we want we want Katie to bring a little bit of the crazy, right? Bring a little of the odd, right? The bring odd. a little of the Bjork from way back when. <laughs> exactly. Right? Sure, so, you swan dress it up because exactly. she is kind of like a cartoon character. I hope she lights it up. You know, yeah. I think she's I think she's cute like and crazy. She's beautiful. And so a lot of those trends that we're going to see that we've seen sort of on the runway from spring 2015, I think we're going to see, um, starting with that beautiful sort of uh, almost Valentino esque uh, hemline, very Mrs. Clooney. Um, I think we have a runway shot um, of that kind of floral embellishment, um, the there it high is. hemline yeah. on the angle. Um, so is that what a mall wore right after the wedding? Was close, that her? Close, very close. Right? And she had a lot of stuff, obviously done. Couture. I call her a mall. We're very close. I know, right? Yeah, Your BS. Right. But that's a great example of something that you could see maybe a tailor even wearing, showing off a ton of leg. Of and I love that this doesn't show on, show off any cleavage or right. any arm. It's just all about the leg in this portrait. You always say if you're going to go super short or tight on the bottom. You got to cover it up up a top. A little right? bit. Come on. You know? uh, what about Madonna? Oh, Madonna. Who knows, right? She wore uh, Ralph Lauren last year. She said her eight-year-old chose the outfit. I think that was cool. She's kind of damned if she does, damned if she doesn't. She's either a knockoff of her old retro self, or she's trying too hard to reclaim her title. I wish her well. She's going to perform. She's got an album coming out in March. I think she's rad. Uh, I love this duo together. I mean, she looked a little out there, but. I, I like think that I she's a little Ma Amish. <laughs> Ma Amish. I love her. Go but again, it. she's what, 56? Yeah, she's way north of 50. And you know what? Good honor. I'm totally. looking forward to seeing her. I, she's always one step ahead of everybody, Yay. so I'm really looking forward to it. Sunday.
Yes. Eight o'clock. City TV. Grammys. Yeah. Big night. Who are you most excited to see when you're walking this red carpet oh live on City? Do you have a? Do you have a like? Oh my goodness! I can't believe I'm Gwen. Gonna... I'm all about the Gwen. You L -A -M -B, are. Be all day long. Are you kidding me? She's so cool. You goop it up. <laughs> well, no, not not. Um, oh, Gwen not Gwen. 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 I my went. I went Paltrow, <laughs> and it was Stefani. She's no. changed her look quite a bit recently. Love her. And you've yeah. got a bit of a Gwen Stefani hair going on today. <gasps> nice work. Ten out of ten. Jody Betts. <laughs> I think about what, what Susie Walls on. You know, I love you so much. And we'll see you on Friday yes. live on the National BT. Yeah. Uh, we've got that on Friday and Monday. Grammys on Sunday, eight o'clock on City. Keep that in mind.